this thing's recording. Cool. Okay. Hey guys, we are in a car wash. Uh, can't really see that. Figured I'd try something new. I'm going to talk about as much as I can until it takes to get through, until we get to the other side of this car wash, which yes, I'm in an automatic car wash. It is not touchless. Freak out, right? Okay. So, uh, news. Today is Thursday. And on Saturday, I'm gonna be going down to North Carolina uh, for a DE and open track down there at the NCCAR, which is uh, North Carolina Center of Automotive Research. It's right off of 95. So I'm gonna be down there for a track day. So uh, what's new since last time? Uh, I got the StopTech brakes installed and I'm going to be installing um, the, the brakes that I bought came with Paget RS29s. I took those off for street, so right now I'm currently running the StopTech Street Sport pads, and they're they're great for the track. Uh, I use them at an autocross whatever thing at Summit Point, they're fine. But I'm gonna put the RS29s back on there for this track day. Let's see, I just got an alignment, I'm sorry, I didn't get an alignment, I just got a, uh, I'm blanking with all the soap Ooh, colors. Uh, I just got the Michelin Pilot Super Sport tires put back on. They've got plenty of tread left. So I'm going to run those on the 18 by nines and the tens for now until those are gone. And then I'm going to decide what to do with those. Maybe I'll run tens all around square like I originally decided, wanted to. I don't know. But right now I've got good Michelin Pilot Super Sports. No use not using those. Uh, what else do we got? I just did fluids. So I'm running Motul 300V 15W50. And I did the transmission fluid and differential fluid. That shit is expensive. So the rear differential fluid, forget what you thought about at ECS. Well, anyway, I, I, I ended up going to RRT and they recommended uh, some Castrol XJ thing. I, I, I think it was like, it ended up being about $240 for just the rear differential fluid. I also did the transmission fluid too with the whatever's recommended, the OE stuff. And uh, so far, the transmission does seem to shift a little bit better. I was having uh, scratches going, not scratches, but it just didn't want to go into second gear at the last autocross from a start to first. God, get in there. Fuck. Um, at a higher RPM under load. So hopefully the transmission fluid fixes it. The rear differential fluid, I did it just because I hadn't done it. I don't know when it's been done last and, you know, maintenance. So there you go. Uh, what else do we got here? I did the Bilstein B6 Damptronic shocks in the back. The fronts I've had on order since January and uh, I ordered them from ECS. They are now not supposed to be in until like middle of April. So uh, I'd really like to get the fronts on there because just installing the rears alone have made, oh, hand out of the way. Just installing the rears alone have made a huge improvement in ride quality, believe it or not. So can't wait to get the fronts on. Uh, we got a little bit more to go here. I'm almost done. What else? What else, man? Uh, I got 127,400 miles on the car right now. Everything is is dandy. Loving this thing. So what else to talk about? Uh, man, so far, I think the only thing that's on my mind right now is I really wish I could sit a little bit lower in these seats. Some cars like the Evo have these little new tabs that you can get and have welded on the seats to lower them down a little bit. I don't know. There's not really a whole lot uh, available for this car other than going with a fixed seat or something really expensive, which even then, like a Recaro, um, what's the, the, the Recaro Sportster CS, even then, you know, you're not lowering the seating position a whole lot on that car. And that's like $4,000 for seats. So no thanks. Uh, Anything else, anything else. It's kind of loud in here now that's blowing, the, blow drying the car. Funny enough, it didn't take the, the stickers off. I still got the number eight, I gotta remove that. Uh, yeah, that might be it. Okay, so we're about four minutes, 20 seconds in, and four minutes, 30. We're gonna call it a wrap. So that's my update, guys. Cut, cut. I forgot to mention the dine-in tune. I got a dine-in tune from RRT. More on that to come. Thanks for watching. Oh, ah, I bought a brand new uh, Bell helmet. My my Bell Sport 3 that I bought, that I have is uh, from like 2004. So I had to buy a new one. 
Uh, it was SA2000 rated, so this new one I got now is SA2015, and I needed that for a track day, so I got that. That's awesome. Cool. Uh, yeah, that's it. That's 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 what I got. All right, we're under five minutes, guys. Thanks for watching. Do a track day. See ya.